Hey guys, it's Tomás here, and today we're gonna attempt, attempt to make a slot machine up, slot machine game in React Native. A uh, couple of quick disclaimers before we start. Um, uh, first of all, I'm in no way a React Native expert. Uh, the fact is, I'm a backend developer. I'm just learning React Native uh, as a hobby. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, second one, um, so slot machine game is not something I would recommend making in React Native um, because you know like th these games are usually like very flashy, full of animations, full of like movement and uh, you know all the all the fluff. And while React Native is pretty powerful these days, uh, there are much better tools to to do this, like for example Unity or I did it in uh, native Java, in Android, or I did it in Swift before. Uh, but it's it's definitely a good exercise, and uh, hopefully you're gonna enjoy it. And the third one, uh, the fi final disclaimer is actually I recorded this exact same video yesterday, uh, but the footage actually got corrupted. But I do have the code. Um, and I'm definitely gonna peek peek at my other computer here uh, to get get me some 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 help. So you know it's not not exactly from scratch right now. Okay, so let's see what what are we trying to achieve. So um, if you are not familiar with slot machines, um, so this is like a typical example. This is uh, what we call call a five by three uh, real set. So you know you spin spin the wheels. They do some nice animations, little bouncy effects, and if things line up line up correctly, like um, here, um, then you know the the play, player wins. And if you are lucky, you end up with more money than what what you started with. Um, in this first, so this is gonna be a, uh, obviously a series of videos like. Um, in this first episode, we're gonna focus on the real. Uh, probably gonna end up with something similar to this. You know, it's, it moves and bounces and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not gonna 100% copy uh, copy what we have here because uh, what's the point of exactly copying it? But we're gonna we're gonna steal some ideas and steal some interactions for animations. All right, let's get to it. So uh, I already set up a React Native project uh, using Create Re React Native app. Uh, that's just my personal preference. If you want to use Expo, feel free to do that. I have nothing against Expo. I just got used of uh, got used to of uh, Create Re React Native app. So that's my preference. Uh, I have an uh, emulator running here um, with you know in the uh, current default default boilerplate. Uh, as a first step, let's get rid of this boilerplate because um, if you ask me, the newest version of React Native kind of over overdoes this boilerplate. So I'm gonna delete things that I don't need. Uh, I'm not gonna need a scroll view, um, view status bar. Um, bam, bam, bam. I'm gonna need a button. I'm gonna put a view here. View here. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of all the stylings. Um, you're gonna notice that I'm using four spaces. Sorry about that. I know it's kind of a touchy subject. I'm just old school, so I'm using four spaces. Get over it. Uh, Container. I'm gonna create a container. Container style with uh, with the flex one. Uh, let's make this four spaces. Container style styles dot container. Let's get rid of the four spaces here, and I don't need this. Cool. Um, cool. We have an empty empty application. So uh, let's see what what do we have here. So we have kind of a section for the buttons, and we have a section for the real. That's that's the high level of it. So let's make a button container, which will be something 
and we're gonna have a play of the line, which also gonna be something. So let's do some uh, structure here. I like to have components. I like to have a folder for for my components. Also, I'm gonna need a folder for my assets. Inside the assets, I'm gonna need some images. And what I like to do is have a constant slide, constants the JS file, export uh, default constants equals this, and I'm gonna import dimensions from React Native. Now, what I like to do is. Um, have the screen dimensions into this constant object. I know I can use flexbox, uh, but for this up, we're gonna need need to know the exact, like the pixel perfect coordinates and stuff like that. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna need the maximum width and maximum height of the screen. So I'm gonna do a max width, which will be dimensions dot get screen dot width. Uh, and the same for height. Height. Right. Cool. Um, so our button container, we're gonna give a height of let's say 60, and we're gonna have a width of uh, I'm gonna import constants, import constants from the slash constants. Cool. Um, and here I can use constants of box fit so it fills up the screen. And for the play container, I'm gonna do constants um, height uh, max height minus the 60 and max width. I what I like to do is use some funky colors to make sure make sure my 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 layout is laid out correctly. So background color I'm gonna do the background uh, button container to be purple and something that doesn't blur uh, blinds me so I'm gonna do it blue and I have nothing of course because I need to add the views style equals size dot uh, play container on the top and button container at the bottom. Hey, we have blue and blue and button. Okay, we need a button. So this is gonna be our placeholder for this spin button basically. Uh, I'm gonna do button title spin uh, on press, I believe it's called, and it, it's gonna be an empty function for right now. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I have to close it and reload. Cool. All right. So um, if if we go back to here, so what we what we notice, we have five rows and three rows. Um, I want to make this uh, example up to be as dynamic as possible. So I'm not gonna stick with five by three. I'm gonna make it configurable. So uh, in the constants, I want to have like number of reals, which I'm gonna set five, and symbols per real gonna be three, and we're gonna need a component that holds these reals. So I'm gonna create a new component called. Um, Real set, real set of JS. Import uh, component from React Native. Export default class uh, real set extends component component constructor with props. Super uh, props, and we're gonna have a render that 
actually let's close the back. Um, Return just an empty view for now. Cool. And in our app, we're gonna import uh, real set from components real set. Cool. Um, okay, it did not break. That's good. Now, um, so I said we're gonna need to be pixel perfect. Um, so for each symbol, then, then we're gonna reach reach, uh, reach at the symbol st uh, state. We need to know like the size because uh, when when we're gonna start animating stuff, um, we need to need to know how how many pixels uh, we should we should ro rotate. And I want to keep things as um, as dynamic as possible. So I want this uh, this real set to be just like. You can drop it, drop it in into any any view, and it should work. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna drop it in here, and this view, which gonna be a co uh, container um, with a style of uh, styles dot real set, and it style sheet. Yeah, and maybe add the background color, background color orange. So this should fill up. Uh, well, React is not defined, uh, of course. React. Cool. So it it filled up the whole screen. Um, we kind of need to know um, how how big is this div. So um, what I'm gonna do is. Do this at state equals with null, right, null, and gonna set um on layout equals this dot on layout, and what uh, on layout equals gonna rec receive an event which is like not e um, like a kind of not even event. And I can do this dust uh, set state with uh, e dot native event dot layout dot width and the same for height. Okay, and it still works. Cool. And inside this, I'm gonna do something. If this dot state dot width. And then this dot state dot height, and then this dot render fills, and I'm gonna do a render fills, which is like this. And for now, I'm gonna return a text text with uh, this dot state dot width. Cool. So uh, you can ba barely see it here, but basically what happens when the engine renders this um, this view, it's gonna call the on layout. Uh, on layout gonna set the state, and that state gonna initialize the width and height. And at that point, uh, at that point, uh, or or component knows its own own dimensions. Why is it important? Because now we can do something like let real width equals. Uh, I'm gonna import my constants. Import constants from dot dot constants, um, and we can do real width is this dot state dot width divided by constants dot reals. So we know how wide one real is, right? Okay. 
So I'm going to create a new component, which will be real.js. I'm going to do this, this, and this going to um, this gonna return don't need an only out here. So this is gonna represent a single real. Okay. And I want, want to do a width this dot props dot width and the height of this dot props dot height. Cool. And let's give another color for this. Uh, well, pink, because why not? And we can just import real from slash real. Amazing, and we can do a real with plus real with and height. So this dot state dot. Alright, and we did something. Oh, oh no, it's just the previous. Okay, cool. So we have we have one real, we need five. Um, I'm gonna steal some of my code from yesterday. Okay, so um, I'm gonna do a real list, which is Array dot apply null uh, array constants dot reals. So basically, I'm initializing an array of five. I'm going to do a map uh, index and I'm going to do a return this and I'm going to do a key equals index and gonna do an index equal index. Uh, key is mandatory um, and I just want the index because I want to keep keep track of it. Um, what happened here is nothing because my real set needs to have a oh and also return um, I'm gonna do a fragment and a real list because everything needs to be wrapped in something. Um, now it seems like it's one one real, but it's not really because I want the flex direction to be a row. And yeah, we are all pink. We have five reals. Okay, amazing. Um, okay, so now let's lay out our uh, real. So. What we're gonna do is we have a container here. Um, we're gonna put our symbols in this container. Uh, now we're gonna have obviously much more symbols than than three. You know, if uh, if you see, we we want, want this rotating effect, so we're gonna kind of overload this this view with um, with symbols. So I'm gonna do an overflow hidden. Okay. Uh, also, I want to. Um, I'm gonna basically uh, set a kind of a code for each symbol. So it's gonna be a string. Each character of this symbol string is gonna represent one one kind of symbol. So for example, here we have Jack. So that's gonna be a J. We have money. So it's gonna be an M. We have a Queen, which is a Q. Uh, I actually already have a string here. Uh, I'm not gonna use these symbols. Um, I have have a set of images that I'm gonna use. So, um, so this is basically 25 symbols. Um, what we're gonna do here is inside inside the main container view, we're gonna add another view which we're gonna have like a height of the um, length of the symbols, right? Uh, um, before do, we do that, we need to know how tall each symbol is, how tall 
this should be, which, which is very very simple. Uh, single, uh, si simple. So this symbol height gonna be equal this props dot height. So that's the total height divided by constants dot symbols. So in our case, three. So that that's gonna be one one symbol. Uh, and here style equals um, the width will be the same this oops width and the height gonna be this dot symbols dot length and times this dot symbol height okay so we have a container that's actually pretty tall, pretty tall. Uh, but because we added the overflow hidden it should uh, should just overflow okay uh, and the last component I need is a symbol.js uh, I'm gonna copy paste this here Sim symbol get rid of this and I'm gonna return a symbol with I'm gonna pass in the width and the height and I'm gonna do a background color of I'm running out of colors red yeah. and rename this to be symbol okay and here we can just do this dot symbols dot split so we're gonna split the string dot map which gonna be index um, and return import symbol from symbol. Um, I'm gonna return a symbol with um, for symbol which is equals element a key which is index a index which is index and a width equals this dot uh, props dot width and a height which is this dot uh, symbol height and we should have a or red okay we do have symbols um, now let's let's make something visible something something cool um, so uh, I have a bunch of images here I used for a previous project so I'm gonna do a slot machine demo I have my assets I have my images I'm gonna just paste it here uh, I'm gonna create a new new file here which will be images.js usually when it comes to importing images into React Native, I uh, tend to use the URI format from the from the native native storage. I feel that uh, most of the time it's much faster. Uh, I can prove it, but I think it's much faster. In this case, how, however, I'm gonna use the require format. Uh, the reason why is we're gonna render the same image over and over and over and over again and when you use this required format uh, React Native is actually pretty clever about uh, uh, caching, caching the images so originally I, I tried with the URI format and uh, my, my actual iPhone uh, 10s Max uh, started to overheat which is uh, kind of impressive from a piece of JavaScript um, but with this format it actually works so uh, I'm, I'm defining these images here and we can, we're gonna uh, just refer, refer to them so in the sim symbol.js um, I'm gonna define a get image function or method rather and I need to import images from dot dot assets slash images. Uh, so all it, all it does is it's gonna be based on the symbol, uh, which did I call it symbol? Yeah. Uh, 
um, based on the symbol it's gonna return the appropriate image so I'm gonna do image um, uh, so image style equal dun dun dun, um, get this box width height this box height um, Actually, yeah. Uh, well, let's add some padding here. Because padding gonna be ten, so this needs to be minus twenty, minus twenty, um, and resize mode equal content, and the source will be. It's very important you define define it in a variable. Uh, it's not a good practice to have it in, in the source directly. Let uh, symbol source equal this dot get image. Alright. So what do we have here? Image is not defined. Uh, in symbol. Oh. You know, yay, we have some symbols. Uh, now, if I if I reload this, you will notice that uh, the images are loading pretty pretty slowly. Um, we can get uh, get around it later on. We're gonna have like a splash screen, and we're gonna keep the splash screen on until all the images are fully loaded, or we can do like some uh, pre-caching. Um, for for now, I'm not really not really bothered bothered by that. Okay, um, so. Cool. Uh, we have a spin button, but it doesn't do anything. So let's let's animate stuff. Uh, first of all, so you notice we have like twenty five symbols in Mario right now, and if you check here, you know it's like spinning like for quite a while. So twenty five uh, symbols not gonna not gonna cut it. So let's up this. Uh, Let's keep re repeating the same boss on Mario a couple of times. Uh, obviously, we can't repeat infinitely. That would be an idea, you know, you, you can do spin. But uh, we can repeat it like 10 times. Uh, so I'm going to call it Reels Repeat 10. I'm going to repeat it 10 times. And that way, so this real symbols equals this dot sim balls dot repeat repeat uh, constants dot repeat um, reals repeat and might as well split it already have here and I'm gonna do this and this so we repeated the same boss ten times um, But how is that? Oh, we don't need to split it anymore. Okay. Now, now it loads pretty slowly, but uh, trust me, it's, it's gonna worth it. Okay, <coughs> so um, what we need to do to make this spin spin button work? So we have to go go to the top level. Um, we need some kind of re reference to to our real sets. So I'm gonna do a I hate the fact that the new React Native, um, create React Native app, does this like kind of scaffolding. Uh, okay, up component, and we need a constructor props super props and. Now, so this real set gonna hold our real set. Uh, does it work? Unexpected token. Uh, because we need a render function. And this is what I mean when I say I hate the new scaffolding. Okay, it still works. Uh, so the real set gonna have a reference. Uh, ref 
is the degree of cosine equals f. Okay. And on the on press we're gonna do this dot real set dot spin. Cool. Uh, all reals that needs a spin method. Uh, also the real set kind of needs to know each each individual real. So we're gonna need uh, this reals equals empty list. And here I can just define ref equals ref uh, this that reals index equals uh, ref. Okay. And what we can do here is for let e equals well for now let's let's just do one real yeah. Uh, so this dot reals zero the first real. Uh, and we're gonna spin um, scroll by offset and the offset for now let's make it 10 okay so it's a static number uh, okay now we are getting there uh, and here we need a scroll by offset but we can need an offset Okay, um, so what we're gonna do is essentially animate this view. So this is our very, very tall view. Right now is at the top, we're gonna move it, move it upwards. Um, for that, we're gonna obviously need an animated, uh, need the animated library. And we need an animated property. So uh, I'm gonna call it scroll pause. Not equal animated and uh, actually new animated dot value and currently is at the top so I'm gonna do a scroll pause zero and we're gonna replace this with animated dot view animated dot view okay cool uh, and we're gonna need a transform which is a list of dictionaries uh, objects and we're gonna translate the y value uh, with this dot state dot scroll plus okay, okay. Bam, 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 still works i'm getting a lot of warnings but yeah okay okay scroll by offset um so we need a uh, this dot current scroll Pause, pause. So we know know the current scroll, scrolling position. I'm gonna reuse it here. I'm gonna set this current scroll pause uh, to be uh, this minus. Well, actually plus because uh, we can we're gonna go in the negative direction, right? So minus one times. Uh, this dot symbol height times the offset. So we we paused paused it in uh, we paused in uh, ten. So it's gonna move like by ten ten symbol height vert upwards if it makes any sense. And what we can do here is do a animated the timing which ex, ex, expects a this dot state dot scroll so we're animating this value with two value which will be this dot current scroll pause and duration 750 I guess and do use use native driver true this is pretty important especially for Android so uh, it basically just tells the engine to use the native Android driver instead of React Natives. And we're gonna do a start uh, with some callback. Okay, so if everything is correct, which I hope it is, uh, the first rail should move. It does not. Uh, cannot add property tracking object, uh, but animated by. Ba -bum -ba -bum. 
what did I do wrong? Uh, wrong transform. Okay, fair enough. Yay, we are moving. Okay, so I can mo move. Which is pretty cool. Okay. Uh, now back back to our real set. So we are moving moving one by a static number. Uh, let's do something uh, something else. I'm gonna cheat a little bit because I can never write this function from the top of my head. Uh, I, uh, I'm gonna use a, a random between function which will receive a min and max to generate random numbers, and it's gonna return mod dot floor mod dot random uh, and this is where I need to cheat no not at random star max minus min plus one plus min okay so this is gonna give us a random number between min and max uh, including min and max okay so what we're gonna do is um, um, we're gonna do a for loop because we are old school. Uh, e zero e less than constants constants dot real so for each real uh, e plus plus. We're gonna do scroll by offset with this dot random between. And uh, remember for the real we repeated this sequence 10 times so what we what we can do here is um, get a random between constants constants dot uh, reals repeat minus uh, let's say six so in this case it's four times the um, this dot reals e, so the current real times the symbols dot length, yeah, between six and five. Yeah. Um. Okay. So what's gonna happen here? is yeah we are rotating okay but we are kind of over rotating but first I want to want to solve another problem uh, before we solve this over rotation is if you check or uh, this one this is kind of spins down and because we are mo moving the images up it kind of spins up so that's not that's that's not what we want um, so if we go, uh, the solution for this is pretty simple. Uh, basically, what we're gonna do is um, when we initialize the real, we're gonna move. Right, right now we are, you know, have the top three, and then tuck, 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 tuck. What we're gonna do is move every, uh, move to the bottom three essentially, and uh, scroll upwards. Well, scroll the images down. Essentially, okay. So uh, first, I need this dot position. Uh, later on, it will be very, very useful to um, to know know the position because we're gonna evaluate the real. So um, this dot real symbols dot length. So this is the total number of, total number of symbols currently on the real minus constants dot symbols symbols so this essentially the position will be the third one from the bottom that's that's our position uh, let's set the current scroll position uh, which will be this dot real symbols dot length uh, minus constants symbols uh, times this dot symbol height times minus one uh, actually we can make it much simpler if we could just go for this dot this dot position okay so uh, immediately you're gonna not 
noticed that we ended up with dice, um, bell, and lemon. And dice, bell, lemon. Okay, cool. Now uh, to the scrolling. Uh, so we're gonna set the current. Uh, so we're gonna get the current scroll position, and we're gonna move down. So we're gonna just do this symbol head. Simples. And that should be correct. Right? Okay, so let's see. Yep, now everything is move, moving the way we want to move. Amazing. Okay, so how, how do we so, uh, solve the over scrolling problem? Uh, eventually, you know, uh, you re re repeat it the real time times. Um, the way, way we're going to overcome it is every time we scroll, uh, we, we animate at the end of the animation we basically gonna jump because because the reel is repeated uh, let's say you end up in the sixth sixth section uh, because it's repeated you can uh, basically just quickly after the animation it is done quickly jump down to the equivalent equivalent in the first section actually the equivalent in the second sec section from the bottom so that's exactly what what we're gonna do we're gonna do so let's calculate the position. The position will be the new position. So th this is a callback after the animation finished. Uh, so we're gonna do constants constants dot uh, reals repeat uh, minus two. So we want want to end up in not the last one but the uh, one be one before quadrant and. To this, we're gonna add uh, at the current position modulo uh, this dot symbols dot length, right? So we get get the mo modulo and uh, add it add it uh, to this uh, actually times this dot symbols dot length. Okay. So that gives gives us the first position in the second quadrant from the bottom, and then we're gonna add the modulo from our current position, right? Okay. Now this current scroll pause uh, should be uh, this dot um, this dot position times uh, this dot symbols dot Length and times minus one because we are going to the negative direction, and we're just gonna this dot set uh, this dot state dot scroll pause dot set value this dot curl and scroll pause. Yeah, ba -ba I think this is gonna be correct. So in theory, I can just. Hmm. That's not good. What happened here? Okay, we stopped for some reason. Oh. Why does it? That's not correct. This is the position times symbol height times minus one. That's the current scroll pass. Must repeat minus two. And this symbols with length, yes, this position, this symbols. Okay. I have a feeling because of this.
Oh, because I'm not setting the position here. Okay, idiot. Position will be this dot position um, minus the offset. Yeah, yeah, okay. So in theory I can keep keep spinning and never run out of Okay, cool. And one thing that uh, really bothers me besides the fact that I have like pink and red colors here uh, which I can get rid of. Uh, oh, orange, much better. Uh, so one thing that bothers me is if you notice, like all of these reels are kind of ending at the same time, and here you have just like this nice effect of bang, 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 bang. Okay, so that's that's relatively sim simple to solve. Uh, so remember when we initialize the real. Uh, um, we passed in an index, so what we can just do here is add plus this dot props dot index times uh, 150 maybe uh, 250. Pam 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 pam. Okay, cool. And also something. So we can use the easing library. Easing is easing dot in out easing dot ex, uh, exponential. So I kind of like this this effect. Uh, you see, it's like and um, you know you can use easing dot bounce. Um, there are a bunch of easing me uh, methods here. Uh, you know, feel free to experiment. Uh, for now, I think for this video, I think that's it. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna try to upload a new video where we gonna you know, make makes things nicer. You know, add some graphics, uh, add some animations, and get to the position where we can evaluate the end results and maybe highlight highlight the winning line and you know uh, have some sort of uh, number of credits that we increment or something along those lines um, yeah so uh, see you guys tomorrow and have fun with it bye